mark. T minus two minutes, T minus two minutes and counting. Still going well. Propellant stable on board the vehicle. The crew here in the firing room monitoring uh, more than 300 red line values, watching temperatures and pressures to ensure they do not go above nominal. In the case that it did, uh, any one of these uh, key people could call in to hold the countdown. One minute at 36 seconds and counting, still going well. The pressurization sequence is still continuing in the vehicle. We're now 90 seconds away from liftoff, all still going well. We're going internal power with the vehicle at the 50 second mark in the count. We now get indications from our status board that all is still going well and the third stage is now completely pressurized. Coming up shortly on the one minute mark, we're now 70 seconds and counting. Second stage tanks are pressurized as our countdown continues. Mark, T-minus 60 seconds and counting on Apollo 15. The astronauts are go, launch vehicle and spacecraft components all go as our countdown proceeds. Now 50 seconds, we have the air power transfer. The vehicle now on the battery power in the vehicle and all is still going well. Lunar module pilot Jim Rowan making some final checks. Now passing the 40 second mark. Spacecraft Commander Dave Scott now has made his final check. That is aligning the guidance system. 30 seconds and counting. The guidance system will go internal at the 17 second mark. Now 25 seconds. We have complete clearance to launch. We are go. 20. 15 seconds. Guidance internal. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, ignition sequence start, engines on, five, four, three, two, one, all engines running, launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff at 9.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The tower is clear. And we have a roll program. Roger. You have good trust on all five engines. Second photo, roll complete. Roger. And we have a 50 photo. Roger. See engines gulping three tons of fuel per second. Airport. Roger, airport. That was the center engine cutting off. Four still burning. the separation of the first stage from the remainder of the rocket. There you are.
That first stage will uh, land in the ocean about 373 miles downrange, 47.9 altitude. Second stage is ignited. I'm coming up on 10,000 feet per second mark. Downrange 131, altitude 66. 